And with us now from Talladega Super Speedway, today's big winner, first of his career. Congratulations, Bubba Wallace. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. How's it going? Great, man. How would you describe the magnitude of this day, Bubba? Um, you know, there was it was the same feeling that I had in, in 2013. Um, I remember uh, the night before uh, Martinsville, I said, you know, we're going to go out and win this race tomorrow. And um, I had that feeling coming into this race. I told Freddie, I texted him this morning. I said, hey, man, we got room to, to be a little bit more aggressive. You know, we're, we're always kind of 15th to 20 at the last two stages. As we're the first stage, we're usually up front, you know, leading some laps, whatever. I said, let's not do anything different, but let's just just turn it up a little bit. And, man, Freddie was on it there at the end. I, I know I was being told that it wasn't rain in the area, but we kind of knew it was, and it just it worked out. You know, when the caution fell there, everything was dry, and I was just like, come on, baby, rain like hell. <laughs> you know, it starts pouring, and I'm like, Oh, all right. Maybe I just need to wish for that more often. Well, Bubba, after the race did get over and you got the official word that you were the winner, uh, what, what I couldn't help but notice was even while it was first raining, the amount of drivers coming up. And, and at that time, I don't know if they were congratulating you or, or if they were doing a rain dance with you, but then post-race, yeah. a number of drivers came up to you and congratulated you. And, and from a driver's perspective, that's the ultimate show of respect. Uh, what, was the, what was the count? It had to be like 30 of them that came up to you. And how much did that mean to you? Uh, you know, Chase Briscoe and Chase Elliott and Corey Joy came up uh, before they called it. And I was like, hey, man, y'all get out of here with that. Don't jinx it. You know, it ain't over with you. <laughs> and, uh, no, I appreciate that. You know, this sport is so tough and demanding. And, you know, we always walk around with our heads held high. Some of us are divas. I'll, I'll be a diva today. Um, but, you know, you never really know who, who respects you at the end of the day until you, you know, you accomplish something like this. So I appreciate everybody coming up. Uh, I've yet to see my phone. Um, I'm sure that's, I don't even want to think about that, but man, it's just a really special day for not only me, but just for everybody at 2311, uh, all of our partners coming on board, making this deal happen. So last minute of the season last year, uh, you know, McDonald's getting them in victory lane. I think this is a first for them in victory lane in a really long time. Um, so Toyota Root, uh, Dr. Pepper, Columbia, DoorDash. I mean, just we all know we've been in the sport for forever. It takes a team effort and all those stars to be aligned to, uh, to be sitting here talking to you today. You talk about congratulations from other drivers. And the one that stood out to me is your good friend, Ryan Blaney. And the reason he stood out is I go back to last year at Talladega when he won yeah. and you congratulated yeah. him. And what happened before that race, when you walked arm in arm with the king down pit road and everybody else pushing your car prior to the green flag, what means more to you, Bubba, that day last year or today when you were able to get the checkered flag? That's a good question, Double A. I think um, it's very fitting that my first win came here at Talladega uh, 15 months after everything that went on last year. Uh, when we were able to show the world, you know, what type of sport we are is coming together, showing signs of unity, love, compassion, understanding, which is what we still need to uh, continue to, to express in everyday life is how, how fitting that it is. We, we come to Talladega and we get the win. And, and it's fitting that I get that feeling that we're going to win at Talladega. So, damn, it's cool. So, Bubba, let's talk about this aggressive mentality. I mean, you, you obviously had a very fast race car. And as we were closing in on the end of stage two, you're bringing the bottom line around. But the move that you made from the inside to the outside to block that Penske uh, freight train that was coming, my first thought was, uh-oh, I don't have a good feeling about this, but you pulled it off. But that was a difference maker. Yep. It, re it really was, and that's what I told Freddie. I said, like, "Let's let's let's be aggressive here. Let's let's do it. Let's let's block and when we need to." And it's so tough, man. Those, the the Penske cars are so fast, and I've sat there and I've watched Ryan lead these races at the end, and I'm sitting around riding tenth to thirteenth, and you know Daytona we ended up second, but we weren't in contention to win, and I wanted to be one of those cars, and so uh, you know Freddie and I we've been doing this a long time. And I, he was telling me, hey, man, you got two Penske cars behind you. They are going to shuck you any second they can get. So just be ready for that. And so you're contemplating when is that move going to happen? 
and it never did. So appreciate Brad, appreciate Joey, uh, you know, helping me along there, but we had to block, we had to, you know, to do what we had to do to put ourselves in this spot. Like I said earlier, I didn't think it was going to rain, but Hey, we're here in victory lane. Well, Bubba with wins always comes the, the memories further down the road. What do you think 10 years from now when you sit back and, and are talking about this first win and, and maybe reminiscing with who knows, maybe you have kids by then or whatever. I don't know what life's going to bring you. What's that yeah. one moment from today that's going to be that picture that is frozen in your memories? Is it on top of the pit box with your team getting out of the race car? What's that one moment going to be? I think on the pit box because we have a pretty good uh, behind the scenes video. Um, my engineer had, had NASCAR in his ears. And he said, oh, wait, and then we're sitting there and you see my face like light up like a deer in the headlights, like what's happening? And when he called it, we just went ecstatic there and just, man, it's a really cool feeling to celebrate with people that support you and, and trust you and believe you and push you to be the best. You know, it, it hasn't been an easy season, um, but man, it makes for these moments, it means so much more that we can all come together and rally and uh, be able to celebrate together. You said when this deal was announced, Bubba, your goal was to win. And there were a lot of people that said, whoa, 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 new team, this is going to be challenging. Buddy, you've checked yeah, the even box. The, even Denny said that. Like, <laughs> what the right, heck? No. Even the owner. <laughs> hey, man, congratulations. Enjoy every second Thank of this. Guys. And we look forward yes, to sir. seeing you again soon. Sounds good. Thank you, guys. Have a good night. NASCAR on Fox content, subscribe to our channel. It's somewhere right around here.